uh in india mostly people want to become an engineer or a doctor but mostly people uh, do it because of their parents or their own ambitions the recent controversy of the neat exam has led let most of the students depressed or kind of they were well prepared but due to the exam conditions they were not able not able to get the proper result so i got a new opportunity for the students who don't know about this it's not new opportunity but it's been for ages so the opportunity is about studying medicine in italy and this go uh, this video is about whole about the medicine students this is going to be the part one of the uh, education in uh, italy uh, for medicine but mostly i'll try to make more and more videos related to this concept this but this is a basic understanding of how the medicine is going to be here and what is the possibility that you have that you can get here and um, what exam do you have to take here and i have some other videos to uh, ideas also about this medicine in uh, italy so let's talk about this slowly and thank you very much for the recent subscribers and the support that we am getting and if you like the content please like share and subscribe to my channel so that we can grow together i've recorded this video only for the awareness of this program in italy but if you need more details just uh, let me know watch this video till the end and uh, write down the comment sections for uh, much more details there are so many questions that people are asking about but i need some time because uh, my exams were online so i have to prepare for my exams and then cope up with both of this so uh, give me some time i'll i'll manage everything hopefully so talking about the education of medicine in italy is not completely free you have to pay a fees of 15 or uh, 20000 i'm not sure but i'll get the full details and share it with you and uh, mostly people who uh, study here get a scholarship of around 3500 per semester and 7000 per year and you have two semesters per year and the study is going to be around 6 years so you have to show around 40 lakhs in your bank account see the main problem here is the free education is never free nowhere it's not free you have to show your expenses in your bank account for the duration of the course for example if i am a master student i have to show around 13 lakhs uh, for my whole two year study so for example the italian government has estimated that a student should have 6 lakh 50 thousand rupees at least uh, for a student to survive in italy for a year so since i am staying for uh, two years you have to show 13 lakhs in the same way if you are a master student if you were coming for a medicine you have to show 6.5 into 6 years which is roughly uh, 40 lakhs so this what happens when we have to prepare for the visa or something so when you prepare for this you'll have the uh, possibility of getting the visa apart from the visa let's talk about the visa later but uh, let's talk about the education and the exam that you have to write so the exam is called i am at international medical admissions test which is for the international students whoever it may be uh, the the competition is much more than india because in india we have only national uh, competition but in the imat you have international uh, students who are going to compete for the uh, for your your place of uh, education so you have to be very good so personally you should be very much better than the most of the students that they are writing the exam so you have to prepare very well and the exam is going to be around general knowledge and logical reasoning will be 22 questions and the biology 18 questions chemistry 12 and physics and mathematics is going to be 8 questions so if you pass this exam or if you pass this exam you are going to be getting a seat before the exam during the registration you can actually choose the university that you want to apply for so when you write the exam according to your score there will be the students who wrote the exam and if you are better than most of the students you will be getting a seat but trust me the competition is very much high so if you are willing to try apart from neat the imat is the next option that you want to choose and because because of the uh, much higher competition in india you can try even here also because there is an opportunity so we never know who can get what kind of opportunities and something and when you register you can apply for the universities like university of naples federico milan bologna Sp- sapienza university of roma pavia turin and these are the most uh, best university that europe has so you can choose from any of these then if you get a seat you can you should have to prepare for your uh, interview visa interview 
and if you want to give a try you can just uh, search for the imat exam and prepare if you want some guidance to during the preparation i have one of my friend who is going to be it's not a promotional video or something it's one of my friend who is uh, she already cleared the exam and she is studying in italy so she wanted to help some students so if you want her details i can share it with you and you can talk with her apart from that so let's talk about the language of the education so mostly the university students uh, universities will be providing the education in english for the indian students but italian is much more preferred because for the communication between the students because the students who study with you could be italians or indian students but no matter what to survive you need italian language so it's better to learn language and you can start with duolingo if you want to prefer this ed- this education so let's assume you have registered for the exam you cleared it you got some university and then if you come to italy then you'll have a regional scholarship which is around 3500 euro per semester so each semester the first semester scholarship will be the free one which is which is based on your family's previous uh, status so after your previous status and then each semester you'll be credited with your scholarship so if you miss your exams there is a possibility that they can ask you the money back so you have to study very well and clear your exams and get your scholarships that's the most important thing so if you uh, it's not like you get your money so for example if you just get your first scholarship and you cannot say i can leave so uh this something called as illegal but mostly uh people do this but then they get into some kind of troubles so trust me just if you want to really study and get this op- use this opportunity i'm at exam is going to be very soon trust me this is a great opportunity just uh, uh apply for it and if you need any guidance just uh, text me on my instagram but before that all the best for your neat exams and uh, hope to see you in the next video and write down any other questions that you have in the comments so that i can answer you or text me in the instagram so you can stay in touch thanks for watching ciao peace and care